What's happening guys? This is Captain RL with Bottom Fishing 24 7. All right, what you need today for this, this is a vinegar and Dawn flush. I've got Ajax with deep degreaser or super degreaser, whatever. Any of that stuff will work for this. This is something I know a lot about. I've been messing around with these outboards for, I mean, since the 80s and 90s. And uh, as far as keeping the, the water jackets clean and keeping your anodes up to spec, just keeping the, and keeping the impeller good even. Dawn leaves, by, leaves a, a waxy residue behind. And no, it's not gonna last forever, but it's just good to do to your motor. It gets all the scale out because I've also dumped a gallon of vinegar in here. This is a 100 gallon livestock water trough I got from Tractor Supply. They're about hundred bucks. The 100 gallon one is perfect for these big outboards. You can use it for any size outboard. The 100 gallon is the best one that I found because it holds plenty of water. I can run the motor for a long time because the exhaust is coming out of there, making that water warm up as you run it. 100 gallons will last, you can run the motor 10 or 15 minutes pretty easy before the water gets too hot to run the, run the motor in. So again, gallon, a gallon of white vinegar has already been dumped in here. There's just some residual soap in this. What I'm gonna show you is how we'll inject the soap into the intake screen of the motor once we crank her up. The importance of this is that it'll clean out your water passages, your thermostats. Uh, it'll clean up your anodes, especially if you're wanting to change them. It'll clean all that up, we can get to it. The vinegar does that part. The Dawn just comes along behind that and does a nice, um, you know, a waxy film it leaves behind. And no, it doesn't salt proof the motor, but it really cleans up your cooling system. It really works, especially when you do the hot soak is when we shut the motor off with all the chemicals in there and let it hot soak for about 10 minutes. Then run it for another 10. So we're gonna run it 10 with all the ingredients. We're gonna shut it off for 10 and then run it for 10 again. I'm fixing to fire it up and I'll show you how I inject the soap directly into the screen on the port side of this motor. This is just the Ajax. Ajax Ultra with Super Degreaser. That's all we're doing. Okay, now I'm gonna move this soap out of the way. See if you guys can get an idea of what uh what I'm how I'm dumping this in here. So I'm gonna squeeze the bottle into the intake screen. It's gonna be hard to see it because there is residual soap already in here from doing the other motor. But the water intake screen is right here. No, you probably can't even see it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna inject this right into the screen. Let's get dribbling. Going straight to the intake screen. Motor's running, obviously. And I'm gonna put about a quarter of this bottle in there. Here we go. Squirting it out. Just like that. So don't let off that bottle until you come back out of the water. It'll fill this thing up with water out of that tank. So we're done with this. Turbo soapy. A lot of soap coming through, I'll show you. See that? Nothing but soap pouring through this outboard right now. And water and vinegar. And our Ajax Super Degreaser. And you can run this for a little while. This water's about 60 degrees. You don't have to worry about this water getting hot for at least 15 or 20 minutes from the hub exhaust. So you're good to go for a little while. You wanna soak this as long as you can. Oh yeah. We are pouring soap through this motor. You know, and these Yamaha four strokes, they don't they don't geyser out out of the telltale hole, the pee hole. They don't geyser out, man, they just dribble these days. All these four strokes, they just dribble. The old two strokes used to drill a hole in the water with that telltale hole. And so what we know is everything going on inside this motor the anodes, the block anodes in these four strokes, there's sometimes there's up five or six of those in, in your block and sometimes in your exhaust. So that's cleaning all that up. That vinegar's cleaning it, flushing it right out with the Dawn and leaving a nice filmy residue over all of it. A lot of people say use CLR. I've done that, but CLR is pretty corrosive. And um, we won't get into that right now. You gotta really be careful with that. So if your motor's just not in just terrible shape and clogged up, you don't want to use CLR. So it's been about 10 minutes. We got soap pouring out the uh, back of the power head here. Water pump's working good. That tells you 
how much soap is really in there. That's coming out the powerhead exhaust. That's that's a lot of soap, man. This is so good for these outboards, guys. It's uh, I wouldn't waste your time with it if this wasn't a good hack. It really is. It's a good way to clean out your cooling passages, your water pump, pickup tube. You know, from the water pump to the power head, it's just uh, it's just good stuff, and it works on any any outboard. Okay, we've done a hot soak now. That's shutting the motor off for 10 minutes. We're gonna let this let this run for another 10 minutes. The water's probably about 80, 85 degrees, so the water's starting to warm up. We've been running the motor for a while. So just a few more minutes here, we'll shut it down. And uh, we, we leave the, the soap being in there isn't hurting anything. We're not gonna flush it after this, and that's it. So vinegar and Dawn flush, or vinegar and Ajax, super cleaner degrees or whatever flush you wanna call it. But this works really well, guys. These have about 3,000 hours on them, never had a hiccup. General maintenance goes a long way. All right, guys, take care. Fish on. Be safe out there. See ya.